Hi, my Vice Astrology Tribe, Cosmic Inside Astrology. This is Christina. If you have a Gemini rising, secondly, Gemini moon or uh, sun, this is your April astrology forecast. All right, let's see what kind of opportunities or challenges you will have to face in April. So we're going to start actually with Mercury. And Mercury is moving to Taurus. And it is going to actually occupy your 12th house. And 12th house, everything to do with hidden matters and secret enemies. And it is actually your artistic ability. Uh, if you are doing photography or script writing over here, Mercury moving here could be really, really good. Even if it's going to go to shadow April 7th and retrograde to April 21st. Because it is bringing back an opportunity, bringing back an opportunity to start a photography school or, or working on actually a photography um, show. But, you know, you are not ready yet to show that for the public, but soon you will be. And it could also indicate like you will need to rewrite your, your manuscript. You will need to rewrite your uh, movie script. But, you know, this is going to lead to a completion. Uh, also, it could be like some kind of contract. So if you actually wanted to work in hospice or, or hospital or, or pharmaceuticals, it could bring back an opportunity to uh, actually work on that field. And uh, what else is going to happen on April 6th? We're going to have a new, actually, full moon in Libra. And it's going to occupy your fifth house of joy and creativity, your children. Full moon is a completion. It's an ending. It is also uh, something with, with signing off of contracts. The ending doesn't have to be bad. It is just ending a cycle. For example, full moon in Libra going to be in 16 degrees. So 16 degrees is an aquarium flavor. It's going to get some kind of technological or some kind of humanitarian flavor to it. And the fifth hood over here in Cre And, you know, Libra is legal matters as well. Partnership, uh, your marriage partner, business partnership. So actually, some of you, if you are cheating, then it could end a relationship with the one who are you cheating with uh, because of you going to focus on your significant other. It could also end a legal matter with a child. So if you were um, fighting for a child in, with, uh, between your previous marriage partner and you, this is going to end that legal matter for you. Uh, it's going to do a completion for you. Uh, you know, what else could we do? For example, this is like record labels. It is like entertainment business. It could bring in an ending. So, for example, maybe you were recording your songs and you were working very hard and finally it's ending. Finally, it's completed. All right. Uh, on the other hand, um, uh, it could be some of you are uh, having like uh, 18 years old to already go to college and university and it could empty the nest actually and your children are ready to soar and go in and take on to their own life on their own. Uh, then um, the sun is in your 11th house which is money from your career. It's your hopes and wishes. And actually, it's your long-term course. And it's also bonuses. So over here, uh, the sun with Jupiter, it's representing something like um, my hopes and wishes is rapidly coming through. And, and I'm, I'm ready to, to have new friends. I'm ready to actually um, go and have parties. So you're going to be invited for social events. Uh, uh, and you are bringing in many, uh, a lot of new friends, especially Jupiter being here for a year for you. But this full moon is actually opposing Chiron. Chiron is your wound. It's the wounded warrior, right? Um, that asteroid. And actually Chiron is uh, 
your shame and guilt in your 11 thoughts could indicate like somebody might be going to actually shame you in a social group or it could indicate like and it's going to hurt your feelings or actually it could indicate like shame your children because the moon is in your fifth house and it, it could be like that's why you know like the wound is going to be there and you're going to cry because of that situation um, all right, so on April 11th, we're going to have Venus going to Gemini in your first house. So you're going to, you're, the way you are expressing yourself, it's going to be beautifully polished. Um, your words going to be healing and loving. And then also the way you are representing yourself in your company or representing your company, it is also changing. So you're going to invest a lot of energy and money and you're going to, to, to make sure you look beautiful, you talk beautifully, your, your clothes are really nice. So, and, and you're going to surround yourself with good people because of Gemini, it's your neighborhood, it's siblings, it's friends. So you're going to get a lot of love from friends and, and maybe beautiful words from them, supportive words from them. Uh, what else can we say? We're going to talk about Vesta, which is going also in your third house, and it's going to go to, let me see, let me just put that down. It's going to go in your third house. Um, so that is everything with hidden matters, the emphasis on your mental stability, on your mental awareness actually your your psyche and uh, Vesta over here it's representing like uh, you're going to become really really passionate and uh, you're going to have that you know Vesta is also eternal flame it, it is um, has to be a lot with investment but flame within that's your passion that's your compassion so it could uh, bring in some kind of uh, fiery dreams, which could be sexual, or it could be some kind of situation like um, Vesta is investment and you are one to invest in pharmaceutical or crude oil or anything actually that was related or Taurus related. So Taurus could be something with tangible, something with art, and that was also art. So you might go into invest in art to preserve your money. Then on the 20th, we're going to have a hybrid solar eclipse. And this hybrid solar eclipse is going to be a black moon. It's a new moon. A black moon representing when new moon appears twice in one sign or actually twice in one uh, month. So that is a black moon hybrid solar eclipse. Hybrid because of the moon is going to be in center of the sun. Okay. Solar eclipse is actually uh, inviting in positive change. It is unexpected, it is shocking, but it's positive. So what we have over here, um, the solar eclipse gonna happen in your 11th house, 29 degrees of karmic degree Aries. It is an ending of cycle. So definitely it's going to end the cycle with, with some friendship, but you didn't want to be in this friendship zone anymore. So that's why it's going to be positive. And also it's going to bring in new friends and the social circle going to be a higher uh, social circle for you. And, and you're going to ingress that you're going to be invited. A lot of invitation for, for events, social events, which is going to be beneficial for you financially and for your reputation as well. And then... Uh, also, you know, like um, the sun gonna uh, light shine on the 20th uh, going to your back house. So anything, as I said, with the hidden enemies could be revolved and, and you're going to let them go. And, you know, um, anxiety, you will let them go or you will find out actually what causing your anxiety and sleepless nights. And, and you know, you will be capable to face it and, and get a solution, a resolution. So yes, this is a pretty intense month. You know, at the very beginning, we're going to have Saturn and Mars still in a prime. And it is your 10th host and 2nd host, which is bringing back stability in your career and actually money with it. So... So, or you might invest it in silver, for example, or crude oil, and it is being off for you. I know that is the, the, 
Rick, but you so kind of financial and career related situation, but definitely it is something with with Saturn in the temples. It's and it's something uh, permanent. It's creating a permanent job for you, for you, and it could be anything Pisces related, like photography, film, um, um, you know, like hospitality, hospitals, hospice, uh, vacation rentals working with unprivileged and it is bringing back money actually it would be great to work with unprivileged for you guys because you can be advocates for families family matters or femininity or um, the female rights or abortion rights or, or things like that so it would be really good all right so we were talking about mercury retrograde also at the very beginning so i'm not going to repeat myself and Yes, so so the only thing is, you know, what I didn't mention, this kind of um, hybrid solar eclipse, 29 degrees going to square with Pluto, it's out of sign square, but actually it's uh, bringing in an opportunity to to apply for passport or citizenship or, or going abroad. And it's going to, because it's a square, it's going to give you some kind of challenges, but because the square is a Martian energy, you want to do it and you will make sure you're going to go through with it. But, you know, it's going to be a little bit like too much work or, or you know, like, oh my God, I have to, to sign another paper and, you know, I just have enough from that. So that's the square, that's the challenge in it, but, you know, something with with uh, university, get into a university and, and your hopes and wishes coming through or, or, or go abroad to teach or, you know, learn another language, get your passport, citizenship, whatever it is that, uh, but definitely foreign matters as well. All right, guys, if you love my videos, please like, subscribe and comment below and I'm going to interact with you. And if you would like to have a personal reading with me, then you can check out my website, which is www.urbanwitch.org. Thank you so much for your attention. See you soon. Bye.